Hello, I'm Jake Barra. Um, I'm gonna give a little information about what I learned during my interview experience and what it taught me of like interviewing someone that was very close to me. So in my project, I interviewed my stepfather, Ronald Sloten. Um, he's been my stepfather for about 14 years and he truly is like a father to me. He's taught me so much about myself and has influenced many of the decisions I've made growing up as an adult today. Um, the reason I interviewed Ron is because he's he hasn't lived an ordinary life like a lot of other people. He's traveled the world many times. He's seen many places that other people haven't. He's been to Brazil. He's been to almost all over Europe. So he's learned a lot and grown a lot. And he's pursued many, of jo many jobs or dreams that many people wouldn't think of doing. He, he's been in political office, so he knows that type of business. He's, he's ran three businesses. He's ran a media advertising group. He owns a Brazil Capital LLC right now, which is like something to do with mergers and acquisitions. I don't really know, but just he's been very influential to me, and he's done a lot of things that like I would see myself doing in the future. Um, so that's why he's so influential to me, and that's really why I wanted to interview him. Surprisingly, I already knew a lot about Ronnie because um, I've had many conversations with him about this kind of stuff before. Just as you said, um, it's I realize that it's very important to connect with your loved ones because you don't know when it's going to be the last time you're going to be able to. I've always been inquisitive about Ron's past. I've asked him about his major accomplishments, even regrets that he's had in his life. And during the interview process, I actually realized that in my life, it's always important to keep healthy relationships with your friends and family. You know, even if you have all the money in the world, you won't be happy if you keep distance from the people that you truly love. Your family and friends are what give you purpose in life, and that's vital to keep pushing and be successful. And if you want to prove something or go after something in your life, you need to keep those relationships to keep you going. Another important idea that I learned while interviewing Ronnie was the concept that persistence will always get you far in life. Even if you have doubts about if something will go right or if you'll be able to start a business, if you have persistence, you can, you can succeed no matter what. And he's really taught me that because I always see him working extremely hard. And even if he was nervous about starting a new business, maybe because it would cost some money, he always tried his hardest. And I see that and he's always been successful. And he, it's just because he's been so persistent. He also does like triathlon races and he's always working out. He's like six. He's like sixty four or sixty three, and he's still running trials. That was just crazy to me. So it's really impactful for me. Um, the la This is a very important part. The last question I asked Ronnie was, "How do you define a successful successful life?" And that really got me thinking because Ronnie said that a success successful life was defined by having zero regrets. He specifically said that you have to go for things even if you're afraid. That that sentence impacted me so much because I always think about my future and how it's going to turn out in life. And I mean, in life, you're you have to be willing to experience new things and get out, get out, and put yourself in uncomfortable situations. And it will make you grow as a person exponentially, and it will benefit you in the long run. And he's done that so many times, and it just makes me, it makes me want to strive and do those things for myself and put myself in uncomfortable positions so I can learn and grow. If you want to learn and if you want to be willing and able to grow, you have to change yourself. And that comes with these new experiences and having no regrets. Ronnie is very credible for this reason as he's moved Brazil. He moved to Brazil for over two years and he was 18, didn't know what he was going to do. He met his wife, his first wife down there. His wife changed exponentially from that point. Um, he's held... He's had three businesses for over the course of 25, 30 years. He's held political positions in office. He was a state senator of Georgia. Um, and he really said that in his life he had no regrets. And that's what, so that's why he, I want to be just like him. He inspires me to be just like him. Speaking on the economic concept of inflation, I learned that all prices of goods were very relative to the time period. Because like Ronnie said, Gas for him costs about 90 cents per, per gallon, but today that would equate to about $3, $3.30, which is what it is now. And this is because from 1985 to 2023, there's been a decline in the purchasing power of goods. As more goods are manufactured and more things are produced, the input prices of materials rise, 
just like the crude oil for gas, the input prices for crude has become more expensive as it's becoming more scarce. And companies don't want to risk decreasing their margins of profits, so that's what causes them to raise these prices. So over the past 30 years, this process is just repeated over and over again as more goods are produced. And that's furthermore, that's the reason why gas is about three times more expensive than it was in 1982, 1985. During this interview process, I learned essential information about the idea of inflation and how it has occurred over the past 30 years. But most importantly, I learned that I don't want to have any regrets in my life and should experience everything I can before the time has passed. Even more important, sorry, even more important, it's vital to keep your family and friends close because you never know what you never know what to expect in life and there can always be curveballs thrown at you. You just have to keep being persistent and keep learning and keep putting yourself in uncomfortable position, positions. And yeah, and I wanted to thank you, Ms. Johnson, for giving the opportunity to do this in interview. It's made me learn a lot about what I truly value in life and especially speaking for someone who's older and experienced so much. It really puts in perspective what I need to do to keep like the vital things that are important in my life and how I want to pursue my goals as I become a growing adult in the near future. So thank you very much, Ms. Johnson. Happy, happy holidays. Have a great rest of your break.